What is the most controversial mask that you have here? So far, I think the Ross King one. The Ross King? The Ross King. Oh, really? What does that look like? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's not even funny. Are you saying I'm two-faced? Ross King, Good Morning Britain, hanked off. I mean, that's, that's you know, what he used to look like before the, he moved out there. The likeness is uncanny. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that is the mask that trumps all others, isn't it, Ross? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. It's only, I don't know if you can hear me. It's very hot in here, and also... It's it it smells like somebody has trumped in the tunnel. <laughs> That's the only way it's the I full can describe it's it. It's the full Trump effect. <laughs> yeah. It's the full Trump effect. I'm not kidding. Anyway, um, our dear own peers, and his lovely wife Celia, and their beautiful daughter Elise. Uh, she's already been dressing up. Thank goodness she's taken her father's looks. But you wouldn't tell it from this photograph. Look at this. Oh, little Elise as a mermaid with a Trump mask. And uh, <laughs> Piers just said, that was terrifying. Piers, that's not terrifying. Do you know what's really terrifying? This. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a number of Piers Don't Morgans out there people. on the streets. That's the one you really want to avoid. Retailers will face spot checks to test the flammability of the costumes, and fire uh, chiefs also want the law tightened. 